Welcome back to another modded character showcase. We are going to jump in again to show off another character uh, from the same mod as for the Eclipse mod. Um, we first of all checked out um, Nadab and Abu, which I can't pronounce properly, but now we're going to try the Unbind, which I am entirely unsure on how this character works. I have literally zero idea. So the other character is very interesting. Essentially, you were a walking bomb and you, you could explode yourself to use bombs and healing yourself could also be used as bombs. It was it was an interesting uh, an interesting concept. I really liked it. It worked well with uh, on hit effects. It worked well with bomb synergies, which was just a lot of fun. Um, so I'm hoping this character is similarly interesting. And honestly, based on what we've seen in the past, I'm sure they will be. Um, so far, we have uh, control to swap. We have rewind. We have wisp and we have item. Okay, unsure what that means, but I guess we'll figure it out. Uh, so as I'm understanding it right now, or as I think I'm understanding it right now, it looks like maybe it's going to have something to do with uh, Lemmageddon Wisps, potentially. Um, and like It says swap, but I haven't started with a, a pocket active or anything, so I would have thought it was pocket active base. Now I do have to say this guy has pretty good stats off the bat, but very, very low HP, so that can be a little bit scary. But I'm, I'm certainly intrigued. I'm certainly intrigued by this guy. Uh, so let's uh, move along and, yeah, try and find our item room and see what happens. I'm guessing what's going to happen is when I enter my item room, I'm going to be given Lemmigate and Wisps instead of an item. And the goal of this character is going to be designed around that. That's at least based on the, the floor tiles on the first room we got there. That would kind of look like what it made sense to me. It definitely looked like item Wisps of some kind. So that's, that's what I'm playing with the idea of now. Um, so we'll see how true that ends up being when we eventually find our item room here. Here we go. Oh god. I always forget how, like, difficult these flies can be. Bad hit there. Oh no, there's more of them. Oh no. Okay. Okay. We just found out a mechanic of this character. So, we can't die until we get 12 broken hearts. When we die, we get returned back to the room pre pre previously and gain a broken heart and revive. So that's an interesting mechanic. Certainly not what I expected. And the virus. Indeed, we did get a lemon get and wisp. Now, the bit that I'm confused about is the control to swap thing that it was talking about. Um, we got one lemon get and wisp, and now, obviously, keeping this thing alive is going to be pretty important to us because if we lose it, we lose an item. But yeah, this is this is an intriguing character. He definitely seems like a challenge character thus far. Obviously, the revives help him be not so difficult. But uh, the fact that you can't actually get items and can only get Lemmigate and Wisps is scary. Because uh, you've got to play very much towards, like, in the hand of the, the Wisps to make sure that you don't lose them. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm curious to see if, what happens if you do lose them. I don't know if it's just going to be a straight up tough shit, that's your item gone, or if it's going to give us like another random wisp or something, because I'm going to lose these pretty quick. <laughs> that's the thing. I'm, I'm, these ain't going to be sticking around for too long. I'm very, very bad at keeping the what Lemmigate and Wisps alive. Okay. Try and deal some damage to these guys. Like that, then it got, I got hit on the wisp. This is a rather annoying room, I have to say. I'm trying my best to keep it out of harm's way. Yeah, I have a feeling I'm not going to do too great at this character the first time around, but it's all a learning experience. It's all a learning experience. We've got to try these things and figure it out. I would love to kill uh, the little baby first, whatever his name is. I can never remember the goddamn name of that baby. I think it starts with a C. I might be, I might be completely uh, incorrect there. Who knows? Someone in the comments will know. One of you guys is a little Isaac Brainiac. You know what you're talking about. Despite how many hours I have in this game and how often I play it, I don't know all that much about it, so... It's completely gone from my mind. Oh god, that was close. We've almost got the baby dead first. Like I said, it would be a lot more preferable if we can get him dead first, because... It makes the fight with this guy so, so much easier. There you go, we did it. And so, old bandage, that is indeed a wisp as well. Now, my curiosity, when I go to the next floor, 
Does, do these become real items or do they stay as wisps? I'm going to say that they'll become real items. If they don't, then this character is really rough. They do. Okay. Unfortunately, I missed it getting in here because I wasn't quick enough. But that's, this is an interesting concept for a character then. I like it. So, it's definitely, like I said, a challenge character. You have the additional ability to revive, but... You have to be careful about taking your items. You can either leave all your items till the end of the floor to guarantee their safety, or you can take them early to get a power boost at the risk of losing them. Kind of an interesting concept. I like it. I'm certainly going to um, shit the bed with this guy a little bit, I reckon, and lose some pretty good wisps here and there. But if an item's really good, we'll, of course, um, not pick it up straight away. Now, something I, I do need to check. Nod Leaf is a pretty good item, but I, st I still want to check this anyways. If I leave the room, does the item disappear? It does not. Okay, good. Good to know. So we can leave that there for now, because that's not an item that's going to provide us with anything right now. Therefore, I, I really don't need to bother with it. Yeah, especially early on, you don't need to pick up your items early, because you have a lot of base power. But later in the game, it's going to be more important to just pick them up as you see them and try and keep them alive. Yeah, an interesting concept. I'm really unsure what it meant about on the floor it said press control to like flip or switch. Maybe I'll go to the mod page and see if there's anything that I can figure out about that because that, that slightly confused me. In fact, yeah, let's let's do that now. Let's go over to the mod page and um, see what we can find out. So subscribed items, eclipsed, the unbound. Cannot die until he is completely broken. Collect wisps of real items on the next floor. Build an array of active items at your disposal. Swapping between them with control. Ooh, okay. So he can he can have multiple active items at once. That's very interesting. It's very interesting indeed. So any active we come across, we can uh, we can keep and use. And I'm guessing they'll all charge separately. I doubt it'll be like backpack where they charge at the same time, because otherwise that would be potentially very, very nutty. But I like the idea, because it means that you could like have a soul heart generator book for when you need soul hearts. You could have a damage book for when you need damage. You could have a consumable book for when you're going to need consumables. I don't know why I'm saying that all, they'll all be books. They don't all have to be books, but you know what I mean. Uh, panic button, I guess I'll just take. Um... I'm going to quickly go back to the boss trap room and try that out. Because the thing is, there's not really any risk to me. Because if I die in, in there, I get teleported back out and just gain a broken heart, which I'm honestly kind of okay with. It also means we can take devil deals a bit more aggressively too, which is nice. Uh, ooh. Very, very glad I went back for this. This is an incredibly strong item. And the earlier you get it, the better it is. Basically, every kill we get in a room gives us a random stat upgrade. Every mini boss gives us a small permanent stat upgrade. And every real boss gives us a pretty decent actual stat upgrade. Unfortunately, I've been afflicted with an itchy eye at this time. So, having a hard time focusing slash seeing. Which is why I just got hit there. Because I'm trying to itch my goddamn eye. Who we got next? I'm a little bit worried, to be honest, that we'll die here. Uh, I'll try my best, but... The This guy teleporting around, plus the little dude firing his shots, plus what we've now got going on here, all lead to some scary situations, potentially. Just need to not be near the webbing. I don't want to get killed because I'm caught on the goddamn webbing. Yeah, we're good, we're good. We could still die to the boss here, but yeah, you, you saw there we got permanent stat upgrades from killing those bosses. Um, we're up to 6.72 damage at the moment, which is kind of insane. Um, and we'll hope we can keep this ball rolling. I hope I can keep this run alive, I'll be honest. Um, I'm not super convinced that I can, but at least I'll revive just with broken hearts if things do go drastically wrong. It's not like we're dead and out for the count. Do you know what? I don't mind this because I'm getting stat upgrades for the floor by killing you all. Or is it for the room? It might just be for the room, actually. Okay, you're very annoying. Okay, so there's unfortunately a death. This this is going to be a really, 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 really rough boss fight. Because we can't get hit and this guy hits me an ungodly amount. 
This guy is the most tragic and stupid boss to ever exist in Isaac. We got another damage upgrade, wow. We got another damage upgrade. Okay, does that la that can't possibly last until the next floor, otherwise we are absolutely in the money here. We've already gained two broken hearts here though. We do gain ourselves this. And we also gain ourselves So we can take Prank Cookie for a broken heart, right? Oh wait. Interesting. It was free. Hmm. Curious. Curious. I wonder if it's going to take the cost away from us on the next floor, or if Devil Deals are just free on this guy. Because that could be interesting. Grab Nod Leaf as well. And we shall hippity hop onto the next floor. I like this guy. He's definitely got a bit of a challenge to him, but he's he's interesting. If I want to see what my damage is like when I go to the next floor here, because it's it, if it stays at 9.51, then we got incredibly lucky. Oh my god, we got incredibly lucky. Oh no, we didn't. We lost. Oh no, there you go. Yeah, we got... So all of those damage upgrades that we got from killing bosses were permanent. That's kind of crazy. Chops your head off. Get out of here, you. I'm getting very, very annoyed with you not opening up. Thank you. Really starting to piss me off. Okay, we got it. Oh, baby, we got it. Very, very intriguing. The Wisp Master character. Sadly, no boss trap room this floor. You can't have two boss, boss trap rooms in a row. But we'll be looking to go to any boss trap room we can. Because if we do, we can kill more bosses and get more permanent stat upgrades. When you've got Chimera, uh, you really want to play to its strengths. Obviously, it's all luck-based. You might not actually get anything good stat-wise. You might just get a, a shot speed upgrade. But the chance for damage and fire rate and stuff is there. And you can't ignore it. Really not enjoying the fight with this guy. There you go. Finally got him. That was tedious as all hell. Now we do have Nord Leaf, so we can utilize that or, and abuse that a little bit here and there if we get the opportunity later down the line, but right now it's not plausible for us. I can't believe all these little white spiders count as uh, stat upgrade kills. <laughs> you can get your stats up to ridiculous levels in those rooms. Every single white spider gives you a stat increase. But yeah, we're, we're really doing quite well in terms of damage. The only thing we're not doing well on right now is HP. We're just... We've got a lot of insurance. We're not going to, like, die permanently. But I still would rather have some protection so we don't lose all of our broken heart. Uh, we don't gain all of our broken hearts super soon. I'd rather not, you know. I'd rather not. Good. Ooh, more damage. Beautiful indeed. Secret room's gonna give us some money. And then we can go to the shop now as well. Good, good. Don't really know what I'm looking for, honestly. Just soul hearts mainly. Damn it, I don't have the mod on that gives you a, a soul heart if you destroy a rainbow poop with no red hearts. I wish I had that enabled still. Such a fool I am. You've got the good old cursed eye. Extra bombs. Very nice. And take care of you guys as well. Come hither, small beasts. Um... I guess that's fine. We'll take it. I uh, don't think we want that, really. Unfortunately, no soul heart there either. Uh, we also haven't been to our item room this floor either. Didn't notice that for a second. Although, actually, let's do our boss before we do our item room. Um, this makes a lot more sense that way. We'll see if we can not die to this guy, but I'm not super convinced.
We'll see what we can do. Why are we getting stat upgrades and boss kills every time one of those hands disappears? Yeah, when one of those hands disappears, we get a stat increase. And it sounds like a permanent one, too. The gulping noise it makes is the permanent stat increased sound. Right, so now we leave that there. I'm going to say this item is nutty. Yeah, I definitely think we've gotten unlucky with our amount of uh, HP we've gotten so far on this run. Just getting no HP drops whatsoever, really, are we? Well, that was close. Good, good. And then in here, we got a little chest. Thank you, thank you. But yeah, I like the way it sort of changes your priorities and the way that you... The way that you tackle engagements with this character, you kind of really got to think about whether you want to take your item early or not. I think a lot of the time it's probably just worth it to stay to like leave it till the end. Chimera is definitely helping, meaning we don't have to do that so much. Um, and then we'll go down to the next floor. We gain both of those permanently. Very, very nice. Oh, bugger. I messed that up terribly. I'll be honest, I can't really remember how to do this room. So I might die in here. Yep, I died in there. Do I need to go through that room? I don't need to. Bugger! Okay, let's not. Let's not. I'd like some health, please, game, at some point. So I can stop taking broken hearts, please. Just one little soul heart would, would soothe my soothe my very soul. We'll check what we got going on here. I'm just gonna take this. Hope I can keep it alive. Yeah. So definitely this character's got some foibles. I think that um, I've just been very unlucky thus far with the amount of HP I've been given. And it's made this character a little harder than it would normally be. Oh, there you go. Finally. Finally. We're not going to be taking broken hearts, but we've already taken five broken hearts, which is pretty significant, really. I mean, I did just take two on a room that I had absolutely no business taking, to be honest. They, they were... Completely just my own foolish self. I had no reason to take them. Especially the second one. Kind of wish I'd have gone in there before uh, picking up the soul hearts, though. Lucky to. Do you know what? I'll take some more luck. That's more valuable right now. Calm down, you stretchy boys. Keep it moving and grooving. Ooh, hello. Whoa! How come that one gave me three? I've never seen a tinted drop give you three before. What the hell happened there? I'm very happy about it, but I'm confused. Rewards card? I, I don't really know why it's quality four, I'll be honest. Like... Reducing the prices by one for each thing purchased sounds really good in theory, but it's just not good really at all in my opinion. It's just not that valuable. I don't think it's worth it. The fact that it gives you a golden heart is really nice. I don't think it's really a quality four. I wouldn't call it one at least. Good stuff, and then we get little Abaddon, which we will take, why not? And then we come in here, and we get money equals power, which we'll also take. Honestly, we can just take them all. Oh, wait, no, this... Okay. Okay. I've learnt something. <laughs> My bad. So, they're not free. They do cost you. 
Just, if you are at half a heart, they just give you a broken heart instead. I see. So now I've given myself another broken heart and lost quite a lot of the HP I had. But I'm not going to worry about it too much because we've actually, we're in a pretty decent situation now. Saying that, our health is not going to be the best. Joker. Nice. Calm down, you big old jumpy heads. Yeah, I put myself in a rough spot here, haven't I? I uh, but the, the good thing is we're learning more about the character. We're understanding the mechanics more. That's one of the one of the things I always want in these showcases is for me to fully showcase what the character can do and what they're about and me making mistakes to understand the character better as a part of that. So even if we have a shorter run because I died due to not knowing the character very well, as long as I get, get a full sort of showcase of what the character is and does, I'm pretty happy. And I think that so far we've pretty much shown everything the character has going on. I will take Endless Nameless, thank you. We're at 10 luck now, by the way. Chimera is stupid. How good it is. Oh, no, we're at 8, sorry. Not, not, not 10, we're at 8. Library? Ooh, library could be good, because we could get a lot of books here. <sighs> really? On the one character where I can take all the books. There ain't a single fucking book in there. What are the goddamn chance? Wait, let, let me just let me just berate whoever made this room. It just says you must confess. I don't know who made it. Whoever, whoever did that, please go to a library and learn what's in them because it's books. If you didn't know, it's books. If you go to a library, there's normally books in it. So, just, 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 just in case you didn't know. Someone clearly hasn't been to a library before. Thank you for the child's heart that I do not need. But let him... Right. Keep this moving and grooving along. This is a pretty a pretty decent run, though. I mean, like I said, chim the chimera damage that we've gotten so far has been nothing short of insane. Sad times. We've got, at least got some more devil percentage, though. <gasps> Ghost baby. More HP. We are now at max HP though, or half a heart off it at least. There's an active. So it did become a Lemmageton Wisp. Do I have to get to the next floor for it to become real? More bombs, a lot more bombs, wow. Got him. Okay, yeah, we are we are doing some insane damage. Here we go, another bomb. Thank you, luncheon boy. Ah, I was way too early on that. Got some eggy boys. Lots of eggs, okay. This is getting a little bit hectic, I'll be honest. There you go, we got him. We got perfection, which... I feel putting our luck up to 24 doesn't really matter all that much, so I'm not going to take that, I don't think. Don't want the quarter. Next floor we go. 
I popped my Joker. I've kept the Endless Nameless Trinket in the hopes that I get two Jokers out of this, but we'll see. Oh, tears up. Brilliant. Sadly, Endless Nameless did not proc on any of those. Apparently, this got... This got changed. This got changed. So, I am more tempted by Holy Light, but apparently this got a rework Photon, and I'm interested by it. So, before, it just used to give you an absolutely massive shot speed increase. Now, it says shot speed equal infinity, damage tiers, tiers no longer knock enemies back on contact. I have to see what that means. Oh! Okay. I'm glad I took this. Also, yeah, I didn't think about this. I didn't think about the fact that I could just take all of them. That's kind of crazy. So now, ah, oh, this is this is a much cooler item than it used to be. So before, it literally just used to speed your tears up a bunch. Now it's a tier replacer. Also, yeah, Endless Nameless sadly did nothing for us. Now it's an entire tier replacer, and it turns you, like, your tears into this sort of laser beam style thing, which I am absolutely in love with. This is such a nice change for this item. Like, holy hell, it's so much cooler now. Especially with the items we just got as well. In fact, nah, it doesn't matter. 4.5 volt. I will take that because it's potentially pretty good with some other actives. It's not very good with the one we have now, though. Even though that did cost us some damage to take. Wheel of Fortune. Oh, how cool is this? Absolutely love this. Tell you what I don't love is this room where this little ghosty boy is going to try and destroy my my wisps. Oh no, he, luckily he doesn't actually destroy them. I thought he would. Dude, can these ghosts like piss off out of the way of the, the button that I need to press? Thank you. Okay, we'll be taking cancer then. Thank you. <laughs> boy, I know I died a lot at the start, but this run has become very good. Need to keep all these wisps alive. Oh my god, look at that. I'm surprised this item's in the angel deal, you know, the black moon one. It definitely seems more like a devil style item. Nope, not taking you. You have ruined runs before. I will not do it again. Right, we are on depths two right now, so it's the mother fight coming up. Gotta be careful with these guys because they can destroy our wisps. I wanna end the room first. Okay, it doesn't matter. I love the fact that we have prank cookie with this as well, which is making it rainbow. Like that just makes it even more fun. Okay, nice. Oh my god, that's a big boy. Take this. We go. This is a speedy run now. It's started off kind of slow, but we there now. Oh, my active stays as a wisp though, I see. So you can have multiple actives, but they're, they're permanently staying as wisps. Makes sense. Yeah, you're very, very Dunyan Rings, my good guy. Get wrecked. Some max HP. Damn you, game. Although, actually, we can now...
Oh, I didn't mean to bloody walk into that, fuck's sake. It's okay. Oh, I didn't even pick up the goddamn keys either. Okay, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Good floor. Glad we sped through it like that. Okay. Keep it going, keep it going. But yeah, it's an interesting downside as well. Like, this item works the way it does, but you can no longer knock enemies back. Because, honestly, that doesn't seem that bad. But you don't realise how often enemy, like knocking back enemies can save you sometimes. It doesn't seem like, it doesn't like feel like something that's really that important. But if I had less damage and I could actually sort of not just annihilate every room, I could see the downside of this being pretty significant. Hey, oh, mini bosses give us some extra good stuff as well. Into the devil deal, I will take this. Wait, wait. Oh, you bastard, that was so stupid of me. I just remembered there was three soul hearts in here, so I had to go back for them. Getting hit by the laser eye was not part of the plan, though. That was just a foible of me being an idiot. The idiot's foible, as we'll call it. Keep this going. Oh god, there's another enemy in here. I was like, well, why isn't this room over? Oh, that's why. Oh god, this floor's taking forever. Come on now. Well, do you know what would be cool? This with piercing. This with piercing would be pretty darn good. Boss time. Really shouldn't have too much trouble here. I'm really liking the prank cookie doing all these wacky effects and making us have rainbow tears too. It's very fun. I got laser eyes now. Devil rooms will have an extra item that costs broken hearts. You can only choose between this item or... Okay, nah. Nah, I'm not that bothered about that. Okay, up we go. I think we should be able to clear these last two floors pretty darn quickly. Wouldn't you say? Pretty darn quickly. One moment. Da, 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 da. Actually, we can leave this doing this while I do this one sec. Oh, there was only one item. My bad. Okay, we are good to go. Unfortunately, I didn't get to play around with the active side of this character too much, which is a shame. So I think that could be cool. But still, I think we've had a good run. We definitely sort of experienced the struggle of this character early on. But late game, it's really turned into something else. A whole nother beast. More well, keys is pretty good for us, especially this amount of luck. We'll be getting a lot of chests on the last floor. Ooh, I don't like what you're doing. Okay, please don't go invincible. Please don't go invincible. Oh, that fucking thing hits me every goddamn time. An angel item for us? Or a soul heart? An angel item. Unfortunately, it's not a very good one, but it's an angel item nonetheless. And unfortunately, it's looking like we very much went the wrong way. Big F. That's a very big wrong way, that is. Always sucks. Another Baleful Heart. Thank you. Good. Diddy Battery not for me. We are clearing rooms at an insane speed. About as fast as our shot speed is. Oh, it's infinite, baby. I love Tierra Places, where it's a completely like new effect. I like the most fun items to find. 
And taking an item that was once kind of janky and making it into this. Top work. Top work, I say. It's very satisfying. Also, the sounds, plus the sounds of holy light. Ooh. They make it sound like a laser gun. It's cool. Can we two-cycle him? I don't think we can quite two-cycle, can we? Oh, no, we can. Wow. Karma has appeared in the basement. Noise. There's already a trinket called Karma, though. Heck. Heck. I don't know what we're getting here, so let's just take them. Euphoria, PhD, Balrog, and... Okay, so there's our active changing. What was that last one we got? I don't remember now. Anyway, so let's hopefully blast through these rooms at an alarming speed. Thanks for that. I, I got the item, this Bob's heart thing, and it immediately hurt me. Unfortunately, we have to fight Kingpin here. There comes a very sad day when you have to fight Kingpin. So like in this situation, we're not going to get to keep all these items. They are going to end up getting destroyed, but they give us protection though. They do allow us to um, stay alive a bit longer because they're going to block shots for us. It does mean that the items themselves might get removed, but that's not always a terrible thing. Keep this moving along. Yum heart in there as well, why not? Clutch's curse. Got some kind of annoying items in here right now. Potentially explosive ones. Well, I'll, I'll just accept them, it's fine. I'm not gonna complain. Even though I definitely have right to. Kind of losing track of what enemies we have to kill here. Is that all of them? That is all of them. Nice. Tough love. Ooh, tough love. I don't know if that's actually going to work. Oh, no, it does work. Nice. Um, three times damage permanently. It's really good for us. that as well, whatever this is. Piercing, we finally got piercing. Um, I'll be honest, I'm not exactly sure how this room works. Okay, that's an annoying room. I don't like that. <laughs> what? It's just a room that costs. Sad bombs. God damn, where's the boss? Taking forever to find the boss here. There it is. Ooh, Euphoria. I didn't even think about that. Building up that fire rate bonus. Oh god. I've got instant shot speed on my throwable actives too, look. Throw that and it ends all the way at the other side of the room. That's so funny. Nice. Duckling? How cute. Oh, for God's sake. Clutch's curse got me to hurt myself. I knew it was bound to happen. Aquarius in there as well. Right, where the hell was the starting room? Does anyone remember? Was it this one? No. I think it was two over, like not this one, next one. Baby Bender, ooh. Yeah, what's this one? Okay. 
Right, we'll see how this goes. This should go pretty easily, though, especially with Euphoria. We build up that fire rate over time. Okay, we do have to switch over to side, side view eventually. Oh my god, this, this black moon thing is kind of insane. Good, good, good. First phase, very easily done. And second phase, shan't be an issue. This is where we start losing Lemmigate and Wisps and potentially though. Indeed, we have lost a few already. We haven't lost Euphoria though. We do have 10 fire rate right now with these lasers. Okay, that was pretty beautiful. That was pretty beautiful. I enjoyed that thoroughly. And we did get a Delirium chance, so we'll be doing Delirium as well, because why the hell wouldn't we? We didn't get an unlock for that, apparently. Wowee. So this... Oh wait, we didn't we didn't gain the items though this time around. You see? We, uh, they're still wisps. Weird. Is that because I left the starting room too quickly? I don't know. I'm not quite sure what the reasoning for that is. Well, let's hope we can find uh, Delirium fairly sharpish. I don't want this to be a Delirium floor where it takes me forever, which is normally the case, to be honest. As you can see, we are clearing the rooms very, very quickly, so that's not a problem. Ooh, 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 ooh. Turn them into crap, why don't we? Hell yes. That could be fun. Hey, we got him pretty quick, nice. We will lose a lot of wisps here. That is just guaranteed. But that's okay. We're going to do a lot of damage here. We don't really need many of the items we have as wisps right now, I wouldn't think. Oh! Ho -ho. Do you see how amazing sad bombs are with this setup? That was so cool. One thing that we would lose a lot of damage on is if we lost Tough Love, though. Ooh, it's really cool to see the Delirium version of uh, Blue Baby now. I hadn't really thought about that before. I'm trying to get bombs in there where I can, but they're not super valuable. Just nice to sort of throw them in here and there. Whoa, that's a big old turd. Two of you now. You're pretty much dead, my good sir. You're pretty much dead. Thoroughly enjoyed this character, but this run, Chimera set us off and then Photon drove it home. Really, the, the, the tag team duo did a very, good, very, very good job. Yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this showcase of the character. Really, really cool. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one.